Hey guys, so when we first signed our first client, we were really happy, really pumped. You know, we got our first client as beginners, but one question that we had in the back of our minds, one main worry was, can we actually deliver on our guarantee? Can we actually get our client the number of booked appointments that we promised during the onboarding? And so we were like a bit worried in the beginning, but we just started running Facebook ads. And I would say like the first couple of days, we were getting leads and stuff from Facebook and we were doing that beginner thing of like downloading the CSV and reaching out to those leads manually, like sending them emails. And we were like trying to keep track of which ones we messaged already, the new leads that are coming through. And it was just like a complete nightmare. And so after those two days, we were like, we have to implement Go High Level. And it just literally changed the game, guys. So that's how we were able to not only like fulfill that guarantee, but make our client happy and get those booked appointments in month one as like complete beginners. And without go high level and like the system that I'm going to show you guys how we book appointments, we most likely would have not booked like any appointments and maybe we would have lost our client. I know I told you guys that I don't like making these kind of videos where I'm teaching you since I'm still like a beginner and I'm just documenting my journey. But all of you guys have been like commenting and a lot of you guys have been commenting like how we book appointments, how we get leads, how we collect deposits, how we manage our client's calendar. And so, yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys what our system sort of looks like. We're not experts, but yeah, I'll show you guys how we book appointments for a chiropractor client. And hopefully you guys get some frameworks and ideas that you can use for your own agency. So for us guys, we have this Facebook integration with Go High Level where as soon as we get a lead from Facebook, it goes directly into Go High Level and it starts the automation that we created. And so the first thing that you guys have to do is connect your Facebook to Go High Level and I kind of show you guys what it looks like. So if you guys go to settings and then you click in integrations, you will be able to connect Facebook and then that's how it works. And then if you go to Facebook form fields mapping, you'll just see your lead form and you'll just map the fields to make sure they're accurate. So like for instance here, it'll say like, name, name, email, email. So you just make sure that th those actually make sense. And once you have that done, essentially Go High Level knows like what a first name is, what their email means, uh, their phone number. So I'll show you guys like an example right now. So let's actually go back and we go to our conversation. So as you guys can see, like we have a bunch of leads coming through on this side, but I'll show you guys like one lead that we actually turned into an appointment recently. So yeah, this lead came through guys and it just says, hi, first name, this is one from uh, the chiropractor business. I saw that you clicked on our ad for chiropractor adjustment sessions on Facebook. So that's an automation guys. So essentially go high level knows their first name. So it'll just fire off that first message and then it'll wait one minute and then it'll fire off the next message. So yeah, it'll just say like, Hey, have you ever been to a chiropractor before? Yeah. The reason why we asked like a question up front is just to see like without those leads that are not going to reply. So if you guys have ever run like Legion ads, you know that just some leads like kind of sign up for the ad, but they never reply. They're like maybe not that interested. And then there's like leads that have a higher intent of converting. So yeah, so you guys can see like the lead replied. Nope, never. But I've been having back problems recently. So yeah, this actually took us a bit longer than it should have had. As you guys can see, the lead replied and it took us almost six minutes to get back. What we've done now to avoid this happening is we have a, within our automations, we have a notification that fires off when leads reply to make sure that we're not missing any replies. So yeah, this shouldn't have taken us that long, but yeah, I was like, I see, let me help you book your initial appointment. And then I said, could you please fill out the following form so we get to know a bit about you and your back pain. And then this is just a link, like a Google form link. So if you guys ever done like a Google form, it'll just be like a, a online form that you can fill out online, put information like short answers, multiple choices, that kind of stuff. And the reason we have a Google form that we send off to leads is just like with our client, he likes to get to know a bit about the leads that are coming through and kind of pre-qualify them. And so he'll have like specific questions about chiropractic, about their pain, about their, you know, in this scenario, it'd be like, tell us a bit about your back pain, those kind of stuff. Just so our lead has a, uh, our client has a better idea about the leads that we're booking. And then he also kind of pre-qualifies them to make sure they're a good candidate for the procedure, the sessions that they book. And so, yeah, we send that form. Uh, the lead replied to us, just told us, hey, just, just did. So what this looks like on the back end is this Google form, once it's completed, our client gets a notification that someone just filled out a form and they can see the results 
on the back end. So as soon as they get that notification, our client will click on it, review the results on their end, and they'll let us know like, hey, this client, you know, could you book them an initial consultation? I want to talk to them a bit about this, a bit about that, whatever it is, guys. And so in this scenario, our client wanted to see this lead for a consultation. So after our client got back to us, like I said, our client name just reviewed your form. Thanks for your patience because it did take us like almost 10 minutes for a client to review the form. Uh, he would like to see you for a quick consultation. We have a few available spots coming up. Are you available for the weekend? So essentially what we're doing is we're sort of finding out what their lead schedule looks like, what their availability sort of looks like, how fast they want to book. So what happens here is sometimes leads will say like, hey, you know, I'm looking to book two weeks from now. So in that scenario, we're like, okay, we have to find a spot two weeks out. So we just kind of ask a question like, hey, when are you available? Or if the weekend's coming up, we're like, are you available during the weekend? Um, yeah. But in this scenario, he was like, I'm not. Do you have anything on Tuesday around 4.30? So here is where our calendar integration that I was telling you guys about is very useful because we can quickly check Tuesday around 4.30. Our client was not available, but 5 p.m. was open. So I said, we do have a spot Tuesday at 5 p.m. Does that one work for you? And the lead replied, yes, that works as well. So in that scenario, we've already like pre-qualified them with the form. We've set up a time. Now we just have to collect the deposit. And if you guys haven't seen that video where I talked about why we collect deposits up front, it's because when we started running lead gen ads for our clients, we started booking a bunch of consultations, but a lot of them were not showing up. The reason why we think is because they didn't have anything on the line. Like they weren't actually committed. Whereas like for us, yeah, they're gonna pay us 20 bucks fee for the consultation which a lot of uh, chiropractors offer for free. Like it's not a big deal. Like 20 bucks is not gonna make them a lot of money. Like it's mostly for us to get that commitment and make sure that these people actually show up. As soon as we integrated that deposit up front, clients actually started showing up, which was like, yeah, just a big breakthrough guys. So if you're in an industry where it makes sense to collect a deposit up front or like a pay for a small consultation, just do it. I would highly recommend it. And the way you do it is we send out a invoice via Stripe that is also connected to go high level. And what this looks like guys is actually really cool. So they'll get a message, they'll get a message either email or phone number, and then it'll just say when the payment is due by, and also it'll have the link. So they immediately click on that link and they can pay that deposit right away via Stripe. Yeah, it's just very convenient. And the way that works guys is we connect our client's Stripe account with their sub account in Go High Level. And so when we send those invoices and the lead pays for them, that money actually goes directly into our client's Stripe account. So it's just like a really good experience where we're not even like seeing that money at all. It's just going directly into our client's like bank account. And it just, I think it just, shows that we're like experienced agency owners we know what we're doing you know it'd be weird if we collected money on our client's behalf and then we send it back to him it would just be weird whereas this is just like very convenient very easy and it goes straight to our client's bank account and it also i think it builds trust so yeah i think that's the best way to set it up if it makes sense for your agency that's what we've been doing as well and yeah guys once the lead pays what's really cool is that stripe knows and then go high level just send like an automatic reply saying like thank you we received your payment once that comes through and we get a notification on our end i'll just send them a confirmation your appointment is booked for this day at this time here's our address that's what it looks like so now guys i wanted to show you what the calendar integration sort of looks like how it works how you guys can set it up because this is really beneficial so what happens is go high level also integrates with google calendar and so on our end we can see pretty much all of our clients appointments and then the availability he has so if we look at let's say i don't know monday we can see like he has no availability in the morning but we can see that maybe in the afternoon he has some available spots that we can book him in and it also works the other way around so if we book appointments for our client through go high level those will also show up on his end so he'll know my marketing agency just booked me an appointment. I can see it on my end. So I'll make sure not to double book an appointment myself. So it works both ways. It's like two calendars kind of communicating with each other. So I think that's like really cool. If you guys can like, if you guys can get all these integrations when you run ads for your client, it'll make your life a lot easier. So like Stripe, Facebook, Google Calendar, all with go high level. It just makes the experience way better. But uh, yeah, guys, I thought I'd share with you what our system sort of looks like. 
And yeah, if you guys got some value from this, if you can implement it to your agency or want to give Go High Level a try, I'll link my Go High Level link. It's like a 14 day trial. So yeah, it's like I'll get a small kickback if you guys sign up. But um, yeah, if you're going to use Go High Level, it'll cost you the same. So it would be cool if you guys use my link. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much what our system looks like as of right now. And it's not perfect. We're still iterating. We're still improving. I know like I got a couple messages on Instagram from more experienced agency owners. And they tell me that if you call leads, we might get a better conversion ratio. Like, but yeah, guys, as always, thank you guys for showing so much support throughout the last couple of months since I started documenting my journey. We just surpassed the 5,000 mark. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys. Subscribe. I'm going to continue documenting the journey, showing you guys what we're up to. And yeah. I'll see you guys on my next video.